Well, I'm going in and check the lake area now. Hopefully we'll have something up here. Ooh. Well, it's about time. How? Oh. Let's see. Holy smokes. That's one big cat. One very nice looking cat. Let's see if I can flip him over, see if he's all tangled up. Oh yeah, he's all wrapped up. Whew. Some nice size paws. That's a good cat. And a little trail set. I don't got too many of these out. I got a couple on the other side of the road. Where my pickup truck sat. Looked like I had a couple of fox went through there last night or coyotes. I had a couple of fox tracks at another set location. Oh, so maybe the critters starting to move. Even without the snow. I guess when you gotta eat, you gotta eat. Alright, well, I gotta come right back past here, so I'll leave him here and pick him up on the way back by. Alright. Grab my stuff. Leave you running just for a second. It's not that far to get to the next set. It's been several days since I checked in here. So maybe today's the day. Nice little run area. <coughs> People been in here logging in the past. So pretty good tunnel right through there they've cut down. But I've checked around, I don't think it's a snowmobile trail. Never seen a snowmobile sign. Oh my goodness. Some mud actually bigger than the last one. Oh, thank goodness. So that's why I put him on the drag. Keep him away from my set. That's outstanding. Got a little back door here for the Wolverine, just in case. Try to keep an active set going. I'm gonna think the best way to trap these Wolverine even is the leaves leg holds. Oh boy. You are a big pretty cat. Oh my goodness. Good pad catch on the foot there. Whew. Cause like this morning, I didn't videotape it, but uh, already had another con of air where the uh, lynx wrenched inside the bucket to try to grab the bait out. Had that happen to me four times last year. And no, it doesn't hold the cat. I think their hands are too fast. They get too much of their arm back out before it slams down on them. I know it's happened before, but it ain't happened for me none. Let me see if I can get a better angle on him right quick. Oh yeah. Well, that's one big kitty. They actually look like both big toms. Had to check them out here in a little bit. I got some other snares with me, so I'll use those to uh, choke him down, dispatch him. Won't take but a minute. But all right, get that leg hold reset and put back in position. Talk to y'all later. Well, back with you. We're near in the lake where I've got a few sets. And uh, we'll see what's out there. I got three, four leg holds up here, but they're all in trail sets. Let's see. Well, nothing here in the Martin set or the 330 bucket. 
<sighs> Looks like I still got plenty of bait. Beaver bait. We'll go ahead and lure it up again. And then we'll move on out to the lake. All right. Got that reset. Or baited. Lured. And we'll run over to the lake. Yeah, the sun's up now. I notice. Been so busy and in the trees. Haven't took note of it. But it's not over the mountain very much. Alright. Of course, the days are getting shorter and shorter. I do believe I saw the set of lynx tracks on the trail. Probably the one I had in that first snare. So he's coming from the lake area. And I actually came out here. Oh, I don't know, three days ago. Went not to check traps. Just came out to a nearby area close to it. And all I did was predator call. Hopefully, uh, letting the animals know that there's some food over here. There's this one set that's out on the lake. Once the animals get out there, they won't be able to miss that little cage I got built out there with the pines on it. So it's kind of a calling slash lure attempt to put further in the traps. Of course, the two that I've got so far we're on this trail leading in, but nowhere near where I was calling it. I don't see nothing big and black out there laying in the snow on the ice, so it doesn't look good. Got a few weasel tracks. Heading out through there. Let's see if I can get down here without busting my tail. Whoops! And I just about did it. <laughs> yeah, there's those weasel tracks. And I'm more than confident this ice is froze up solid now. Yeah. I sure thought this would have done paid dividends. This is not a bad looking setup at all. Got a caribou heart inside that, I believe, and some beaver. A little camouflaged. Might need to raise that piece up there a little bit. It's about too much camouflage. <laughs> but who knows? It might actually better leave it alone. It looks really cool with snow on top of it now. Protecting the bait on the inside. So alright, I'm gonna lure this back up some and uh head on to my next traps. Yep, last year at this time they was tracks out here on this lake all the time. And now I see nothing fresh. Whew. But like I said, we are supposed to get some snow this week, so. Let's hope for the best. Talk to y'all later. All right, yeah, update for today. Didn't catch any more critters, just the two cats. But my oldest son got him a silver fox. Let me see if I can hold it up here. 
got the two links hanging so I can skin them out tomorrow. Yep. They say only about 1% of the fox are actually silver fox. But uh, I got one last year and now my son got this one. I turned the phone the other direction, but everybody's, don't do that. <laughs> oh, now as you can see, got a couple of reds and a white that we got this year that I've already taken care of. Got those up on the Hall Road above the Arctic Circle. Bow and arrow of a hunting caribou. Couldn't kill a caribou, but we got three fox. Go figure, right? Oh, there we go. Maybe that'd get a better deal. Picture of him here. Outstanding. All right. Well, hope for next weekend we pick up some more. Talk to y'all later.